Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can install the Google Play Store on your Hisense A5 smartphone. We are going to go through this process step by step. If you want to read the instructions, you can also follow the link down below the video. Okay, let's go. Okay, you see now here I have the Hisense A5. It's fresh out of the box and there is no Google Play Store installed on this smartphone. Um, the first thing you will do is check what firmware is installed on your smartphone. As you can see, the firmware right now is 6090600. With this firmware, actually, you can install the Google Play Store but I would recommend you to update your smartphone to the firmware with the number 6100400. And I will perform this upgrade now before doing this whole process. And I'll see you in a minute. Okay, we have now installed the update on our Hisense A5 smartphone. Before you are going to go through the process of installing the Google Play Store, it is very important that you check your firmware version. As you can see, 6100400 is now installed on the smartphone. What you are going to do now is you go to the website chinahandys.net. The link is in the video description and you can download the flash package. And it's very important that you download the flash package according to your firmware on the smartphone. I have already downloaded the flash package. You see it here in my download folder. Okay, now we are going to start the process. The first thing you are going to do is to extract this flash package with all the files that are necessary for the installation. We are going to open it now and you will see different folders inside of it. The first thing you are going to do is you will install the files inside the folder name QPST. The first uh, setup will be the Qualcomm driver setup. You just go through this process. It gives me an error now because I have already installed it. The next setup you are going to go through is the QPIST setup. You will start it by this file and also you just click on it and go through the setup. Maybe it will give me an error again because uh, it's already installed on the PC. No, it's actually installing. Just click next, accept. Next, complete, install. And that's it. Now we are going to prepare the smartphone for the installation of the root access and Google Play Store. You need to unlock your smartphone first. Then you go to settings. Then you go to about the phone and you will press several times on the entry named kernel version. It's about seven times and now you see here is a pop-up that says you are now a developer. Then you need to go back to settings, select other settings, and then you go to the developer options and you will enable OEM unlocking and very important, USB debugging. All right. Now you need a micro USB cable to connect the smartphone to your PC. Okay, so I have the micro USB cable here and I connect it to the smartphone. Then you swipe down and you click on Android system and you select transfer files. 
Now your Heasens A5 should pop up here in your Explorer on the computer. And then you will open the Heisens A5 and select the folder download. And then you need to copy some files from the flash package inside the download package. And those files are the Margisk installer. I copy it and paste it there and the joy gaps installer. It's important that you don't unzip this. You just copy the whole file there. All right. Now you open again the flash package and you go to this file here. You open it and now it will ask for permission here. I grant this permission by clicking OK. And now you see device try enter EDL and it made a sound like the device was disconnected from the PC. And I'll show you what's happening now on this uh, device. It's actually turned off because it's an e-ink screen. It still shows me uh, what has been lastly on the screen, but actually it's in EDL mode now. And if it's not, if it's not doing anything anymore, then you are in the perfect condition to continue. You will now navigate to a certain folder on your PC. You go to the root folder, you select your C drive, you click on program files x86, then you go to Qualcomm, then you go to JPST, then you go to bin. And there you will somewhere find the file QFIL exe, this one. And you open this one, and then you will see this program. You can use this program now to flash root access to your smartphone. This is what we are going to do now. What's important is that you see Qualcomm AS USB QD loader written here. If there's written something like no port, then something with the installation of the Qualcomm drivers has not worked properly. The first thing I'm going to do is now I choose flat build over there. And after I click flat build here, I go to browse and I go to the download folder where my flash package is. I open it and I choose the folder rootkit and it will already suggest me one file to open and I click on this and I can press now open or can just double click it and then I need to press load XML Already the correct file is suggested and I just need to open it again and it will open another window in which um, a file named patch zero XML is suggested. I select also this one. And now that I have made all the settings correct, I can hit the download button. Okay. You see that it's working right there. All right, and you see that downloads, download succeeded and finished download are displayed here. Now we can proceed again with the smartphone. First of all, we can unplug it 
from the PC if we want. And we can start it by long pressing the power button. It takes quite a while, but then it's starting. Okay, now we are nearly done with our guide. I can unlock the smartphone. There's still no Google Play Store or anything, but something has changed because now we can obtain root access. For this, we go to the app named My Files. Just click on Allow. And we go to the internal storage. And there we go to the folder named Download. And in the download folder, we open the Magic Man Magisk Manager APK. We press on Unblock. Continue, continue. Okay, it's now um, installed. I would recommend you to um, press trust the application. Maybe also this one. And then I click on open. Now you need to press OK for it in order to download and install the necessary files. The smartphone will now reboot. This is good because it shows me that actually everything has uh, worked well. All right, the smartphone has now restarted. Now you, we will find the app Magisk Manager here. We can just open it. Magisk is up to date and Magisk Manager is also up to date. That's good. Now we need to select the three bars over there. And then we click on modules. Now we can press the plus button down there. And we are going to select the download folder as we copied in the joy gaps installation zip package in this folder. And I click on this one and it's already installing. And now I press on reboot. Okay, the smartphone is now rebooted and surprise, surprise, we find the Google Play Store over there and we will be able to use it completely normal, just like on every other smartphone too. That's it. I hope you uh, managed to perform the installation of the Google Play Store with this guide. You can also check the same guide in written language on chinahandys.net. We have it in English language and in German language. And also in case if there are any updates to a newer version of the Vision UI of Hisense, you can maybe also find a new flash package for those firmwares on our website. Good luck, have a great day and see you soon. Bye bye.